So we're up here today. We are having a great hike and uh, I've got Dakota right here. I've got Tecla right over there. Mon is a son of Dakota and Tecla. And Tofa is a daughter of Mon. So she's hiking with her dad, her grandma, and her grandpa today. And uh, we're having a really nice hike. We got to this little summit here. And uh, it's nice and shady here. So we're uh, taking a break right here. And there's no snow left up here. We were just back over behind us. There's a nice little set of springs. So we went there, we had a bunch of water. And um, then I wanted to come back here. I wanted to hike up here in the shade where there's a little breeze. These guys could relax and um, just take a break. Now I didn't actually check I'll just look right now. Uh, 5,700 steps to here. So not too bad. And uh, this is, of course, this is the whole uphill set of steps. So um, going down is the easy part in the summer anyway. I don't think we'll go any higher today. Now, we're out here with Tofa because we're doing Desna training work with her. So she's getting her off-leash skills built up. Now she's a rock star already. She's probably got two more weeks to go on it, but She's absolutely flawless out here. Um, these three that I have training are, of course, are the very best there is. I mean, there's uh, there's nobody matches these two males, of course. They're absolute phenomenal, and Tecla's really good. Well, I mean, Tecla's as good as these two. There's no, no diff discernible difference in any of these. And uh, where'd Tecla go anyway? Tecla, come on back by me. So Tofa, she's really, really good. She is a great hiking dog. Now in the Desna work, you see, using a dog for them to model with is phenomenal. Now the key with mountain hiking, especially remote regions like this, is game everywhere. You've got to stop and zero that dog's focus in, and you've got to bring that dog into focus, and that's what we do. So we keep them dogs in paying attention. Tecla, Dakota, Tecla, Dakota, come back here. Don't take uh, her down there. Tecla, you got a chipmunk. Tecla, come back up here. I don't want Tofa going down there for the video. Tecla, get up here. I brought lunch, we don't need it. Not for them, I brought for me. They're not hungry. You just stay right there, man. Don't move a muscle. Tecla, I'm filming a video. Bring her here. I'll be taking her down there, Tecla. I'm filming a video here. Dakota, get by me right now. Settle down, you guys. I'm filming a video. Uh, girls. Oh boy, I'm on. Oh boy. Sit down, Toba. Right, girl.
What a good girl. What a fantastic dog. That's one of the best dogs ever, that Tova. That is a really, really high-end dog. There's no doubt about it. I mean, wow. Just check that face out. Oh, it's a good dog. That's ah, such a sharp dog, that Tova. I hope I'm getting this light enough. I hope you guys can see this good. Hey, Tova, what a good girl. What a good girl. So, yeah, pretty fun time. Dakota, you come in the shade, buddy. Dakota, he's, uh, he's, he's happy letting Mon lead the charge these days. He, uh, he's a very senior dog, of course, and he's got the skills and the stamina, but these high elevation hikes, when he hasn't blown out the entire batch of his winter coat, they're tough going. So we hike from spring to spring and always in the shade. We stay out of the sun. Now, as the summer goes on and they get rid of more and more coat, you can spend a little more time in the sun, but you got to get out of the sun with these double coat dogs right after winter because they haven't blown everything. And you have to take plenty of breaks with an elk hound double coat dog and you got to get where there's shade and breeze and keep going through the spring areas. Now, as all of you know, that ridge up there, we hike that ridge lots. And it's a great hike. We, we travel up through this group of aspen here, right along through here over that ridge at the top there, and I can travel right along the top. There's a place I can scale up over there. It's kind of cool. And then uh, we cruise across up there. It was up there oh, a couple months back. There was heavy snowshoes, of course. We were a lot of snow, but uh, there isn't a drop here now. Now, I got to mention that the snow melted so fast this year that uh, the river swelled, and there's two rivers that converge in Grand Forks, my little community, and it absolutely swamped it. It's catastrophic. I mean, uh, two to three inches of the cabs of trucks left. I saw six foot high cedar board fences with just the post top sticking out. Um, people are devastated in there. Just, it's, it's a disaster for them. So I feel for them. But that's why she's so dry and hot up here. Super snow melt. So there's snow on them peaks over there. They're about another uh, thousand feet up. I don't think you can see them with this lens, but they're about a thousand feet up from us yet. We're uh, pushing 4,500 here and there at 55 to maybe a little more. And uh, we don't go to that region much. Uh, we, we uh, I think this year with it being so hot and dry, we'll go over there. It's, it'll, it's cooler over there. So yeah, I'm pretty content with this set of dogs. Tecla's bred now to Pretty Boy Leaf. Now, that's a phenomenal pairing because uh, that's what produced Vintner. Now, Vintner is down in Washington where Tofa's headed. Tofa's going down to be with Vintner. And Christine and Brent have a lovely family down there. And uh, Vintner's down there. He's a rock star. And so Tofa will go down there and uh, show him who's boss. And uh, she's up for the task, there's no doubt about it. A world-class dog. So yeah, it's uh, three good dogs here, there's no doubt about it. It was a hot day for him though, just the same. Very, very hot. But it's nice up here, I can feel the breeze on my back and it's uh, quite good. There's a lovely set of springs. I'll just turn and see if I can show it to you. So just over in them aspens, 
we go through and there's a spring in there. Uh, it's a beautiful spring too. I got some nice photos of it. I'll be posting the photos of this trip. We were at five different springs today. I know where they all are, so we hike to them and uh, staying in the shade. So uh, the dogs, uh, they were happy because I was leading them. Wow, they knew where I was going. And so we were going from water hole to water hole, basically. So yeah, it was pretty fun. Little Tofa, she splashes around and has such a ride in each water spot. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can get up beside her. I don't like to walk much with the camera, but I'm going to. I'll just move a little bit. There she is. She's such a good dog. Wow. What'd you find over there, Tova? Good girl. Good girl. Go ahead, you guys. Spring bears out all over the place. We're not bothering them. They don't bother us. We don't bother them. We leave them alone. And uh, we don't bother any game. I keep these guys, uh, you know, just letting me know where it is. But I don't want them bothering it. And they don't want to bother. It's not their nature. So, very, very nice that way. Mon, he's a rock star. He's waiting for Silver Nova to grow up so he can have a litter with her. That's his new squeeze. I did a video with her just yesterday. Tecla's sister Tika is down in the yard. And she's having a litter with Pretty Boy Leaf two months from now. So yeah, another uh, group of rock stars like Tofa coming. Well, guys, that's a really good video. I'm very happy with that. We'll call her a video.